Nice. A little long shot from here. Ooh. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Thorsby to review today. Guys, this card, right, with the basic chemistry style already looks like a beast. He's one of the three options for the first cards that look really, really nice, right? We're looking at a card that is six foot two with high, high work rates, right footed, two star skill moves with a three star weak foot. So right off the bat, this guy is going to be used as my right center defensive mid. With the acceleration at 81 and 84 sprint speed and defensive stats the way that they are, it's already telling me that I want to use a shadow chemistry style on the card. Shooting presence is pretty decent on him with 95 attacking positioning with the uh, basic chem style, but he would have 90 in general. Um, we have the 72 finishing with 81 shot power. Passing stats on the card are really nice with 88 short passing, 85 long passing. Uh, dribbling stats are really nice considering the fact that he's six foot two like he's obviously gonna be a tiny bit sluggish obviously because of the height but it's still gonna be super responsive for the for the height and body type that this guy has because he has a pretty big body type in game right defensive stats with the plus fives in the defensive stats for defensive awareness standing tackles sliding tackles we can still test them out really nicely defensively to see how he moves around the pitch and then obviously has a great physical presence as well so it's gonna be very interesting to try out this card in game i do think that he is the best option out of the three so let's see if he actually is in game because the way that we're gonna be lined up in game i almost forgot about this is going to be in a four two three one four two three one setup it's just gonna be on balanced instructions right from the get-go because you want to test out the stamina how fast he pushes back without a chem uh, chemistry style and his general positioning when it comes to defending around that semicircle area of the 18 yard box. So let's go into a game and try him out and see how he plays. Commentary is Lee Dixon, and on the menu. Oh, he's pretty big in game. Holy crap, this guy's freaking huge in game. This guy's bigger than Zaniolo, and Zaniolo's pretty big. Oh, that's going to be super nice for the defensive area. Let's see how he positions himself over here. Oh, I already like this card, man. This is def This is one hundred percent going to be the best card to choose from. <laughs> Transitioning is really nice with him too, and that's really important because those dribbling stats that he has, agility and balance wise, uh, is going to be really nice just for him to move around the pitch really quickly. It's going to be super. Oh, look at that positioning. I actually like that. That's the that's the characteristics I like my CDMs to be, guys. You see the way he's positioned right there. When the other person wasn't, that's what I'm talking about. I love when they're positioned there. Lauren Blanc does the same thing, which is why I love that card so much. Oh, okay. He's utilizing empty space instantly. That's that 90 attacking positioning. Look at this. Make that space. Use that space. Very good. So with balance, guys, and because of his high attacking uh, positioning, he's definitely going to utilize the empty space really quickly. So be very careful with that if you use this card on the balance work rate, which is obviously good because you want him. Uh, if you use him on the balance instructions and you know that his attacking positioning is like that with the high, high work rates and high stamina, you know that he's going to attack those positions. So uh, it is a guarantee with this card for sure if you need that extra attacking presence pushing forward. Yeah, his dribbling with his high guy is really nice, man. And that CDM position is going to be huge. A real struggle to contain him. Got that near post angle. Nice. There you go. Ian Rush with a nice little finish right there. So look at his positioning without the second man press, right? You see how he stays in line really nicely with the other player, right? This is from kickoff. So kickoff is a little bit weird, but watch his positioning when I'm not controlling anything. Stays in that general middle area the entire time. Rotation policy with the other CDM. Rotation policy is important, man, because it just makes the transitioning uh in a defensive area to the attacking area really nice and that's just that physical presence that he has with that absolutely massive body type I'm gonna get into a position right here little lob pass first time volley oh my god that would have been beautiful am i gonna get that still with mertens' responsive dribbling maybe responsive dribbling this card's really good i you know it's it's a weird situation because 
I have to do the review for all the cards, right? And, I, and there's a Liga Noj Japanese dude, but I don't know, man. Like, I gotta get this guy for like objectives or something because he's freaking nuts. Look at that tracking right there. You guys see that? Beautiful defending. That is without any instruction, my dude. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like I said earlier, the whole thing with Laurent Blanc, the way they position themselves, the way they mark the players, without a shadow chemistry style too, positions himself well in the CDM position. Like. It was pretty obvious this guy was going to be a freaking beast, to be honest. Look at that, already with the interceptions. Just, I'm not even doing second man press and he's going there instantly. First time shot. Ooh, almost got that. Alright, let's see what his transition is like back. High work rates, good stamina. Not too bad. He's not a runner, right? He's not a runner. Not, not all of them are, in all fairness, right? But... He'll get into position if he needs to. That's probably going to be a goal right there. Oh! Oi! What are we saying there, mate? I love getting that 45 degree angle. That's a, this this game, guys. When I tell you something, man, this game is just it. it when you play FIFA, you gotta play it like it's FIFA. Does that make sense to me? Does that make sense to you guys when I talk about that stuff? You gotta play it like it's FIFA, boys. All right. Let's see. Oh my god. It took too long. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> I was gonna like switch to him. I, it's commentary and all that good stuff. All right. I'm gonna switch off of him again. No second man press. Let's th look, look at the way he's marking the one dude right there. Marking him, marking him. He's not letting him go. Let him go there. But because he's a CDM, he sticks to his position. Really nice. I love that. Look at the way he's positioned right now. Edge of the 18-yard box. Right? No second man press. Look at the way he's positioning himself. Now, because he's tall as hell, you get the ball just like that. <laughs> See what his slide tackles are like. Ooh, very direct. I like that. Nice. Good, good responsive dribbles. Let's see what's up here. A little layoff. We're going to call that run short. Sometimes when players are just making those runs forward, it's, it's not really like worth pushing that specific play. Nice. A little long shot from here. Ooh. You know why I felt like the long shot was the best thing to do there? Because the player himself did a bounce touch. Not emphasis touch, a bounce touch, like an actual bounce touch in the game. So I really felt like doing the long shot right there would have been the beneficial thing. You see that bounce pat? You see the you see the ball bouncing before he actually takes the long shot. That's what makes the shot really, really nice in that general position. It's a small little intricate things that always matter in FIFA, right? Like that's why that's why I wish the gameplay was consistently good because your boy knows stuff, man. I'm telling you, I just can't consistently do this stuff, you know. <laughs> It's very frustrating. Oh, good off the ball movement. I like that. On balance, guys, he's honestly working really well. Um, very, very obvious that you can use him just like that if you really want to. But for the second half, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go ahead and switch to just regular instructions. No cut pass lanes. Just stay back while attacking and cover center because I want to see what he's going to be like with the high, high work rates. Will he utilize empty space? because of his high attacking stats, right? Because the attacking positioning, it makes them make those runs. Well, Batalia is the same, and sometimes it annoys me. So we're going to try it out. Yeah, he doesn't aggressively push up. So on stay back while attacking, he will actually stay back while attacking, which is my kind of CDM, to be honest. Because it's like, this CDM is good because if you want to attack, you can with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the big thing with this card. Mendy on stay back while attacking was really attacking oriented. Like he would just attack all the time, so it was a little bit, a little bit dangerous in regards to that. But he was still a freaking sick card. Like he tracked back really quickly, which is what made his card really nice. But you definitely had to use a Lauren Blanc next to that Mendy for it to work out with in a balanced sense, you know. Look at that tracking. Stay back while attacking. Tracks that player the entire time. Stays around that general middle position. A beautiful tackle with his height. As you guys know in FIFA, the height, the, the body type of a player, very, very big things in FIFA. And very, very obvious in those positions right there.
Yeah, I really like this card, man. He's high, high work rates, but like the high, high work rates is more noticeable when you specifically tell him to play on balance. Like he's not really going to attack that often if he doesn't need to at all. See how he stays back while attacking in general? Like there's some players that with the high attacking stats in general, they're, they just run all the time, right? So it's great that he's not actually doing that. In that position right there, you can see that if you had him on balance, you can utilize that empty space. Great little tackle again because of his height. You can utilize the empty space to get into a nice position. Sometimes here, right, you want to do a little pass like this. You want to do a little pass like that and then use your CDM to force a run because, you know, sometimes the defender's goal, defender goals and tracks them. And when that happens, right, it just creates more space for you. I'm going to see if I can try to get an example here for you guys. Like over here, right, you want to do it over here in this general area. And then you could do something like that, right? And if you get lucky, you get the ball back or whatever, and the pass gets through, you have this extra attacking presence because people always have to push towards you, right? So sometimes just triggering the run yourself is ideal. And because of his high stamina and high defensive work rates, you know, he's obviously going to get into position really quickly, right? First time shot from that angle. Beautiful strike, man. He hits that really nicely. From that angle, he hits that really nicely. Sometimes you have to settle those shots to hit that better, but his shooting stats are not even like that great. And he's still hitting shots really nicely. See? Again, stay back while attacking, not utilizing any space at all. So he follows the instructions really well, guys. The high, high work rates on this card. This is probably one of the better CDMs I've used, man. There's going to be so much different things you can do with him. If you need that extra attacking presence, he'll do it. If you don't want him to do it, he won't do it. Like, I'm telling you, man, this car with a shadow chemistry style, even with an engine chemistry style, uh, he, looks, he looks great, you know? Like, look how he doesn't push. Let's see if he does it over here. Still doesn't do it. Now he did because that space is really open. But still, boys, even still, man, he has the high defensive. He'll come back as quick as possible. Let's see what his long shots are from here. Oh, they're actually pretty nice. Even like a little bit off balance, he hits them quite nicely. Yeah, guys, so final verdict on the card. I'm telling you dudes right now, this guy is really, really good. He's obviously the best out of the three choices. I don't think anyone should really choose any of the other cards unless you're doing them for sentimental value. Whether you're American, you want to have an American player. Whether you're a fan of the Liga Noge and we have no good strikers, you want to get that three-star, three-star player, sure. But I'm telling you guys this right now, this one is the best choice. Give him a shadow chemistry style, and you guys are going to see how beast he plays in game. He's a good all-round player. He plays on the balance instructions and the stay back while attacking instructions really, really nicely. His high, high work rates with his 99 stamina is awesome. Everything about the card is really good for what he offers and what the stats actually say he is in game. Like it, it, the stats make sense for how he performs in game. I think with the shadow chemistry style, you guys will notice a big difference in the card. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to try to get like some icon swaps tomorrow. Bellerin probably tomorrow as well. And then we'll basically take it from there. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.